What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Today is going to be a live Road to Glory um, with maybe on screen literally right now in picture in picture some stuff that I did off camera. I was going to do a non-live version um, but I, you know what, I like doing live. Now I picked up that old black for 85k, I managed to sell it for 93k. His price has been going up and down, as has Adariz's. Adariz went up to like 165, 170. He's now back down to around 140. I sold a whole bunch of bronzes that I had in the club, uh, along with a training item that I got from a bronze pack. That Bruno there left. Though. These uh, Matthews, are just, I can't shift them. They're just not going anywhere. I've got a few things in the trade pile. That Carver How, I can't seem to get rid of him either. But we're up to 291,000 coins in the bank. And we've got a really, really good team. Um... Which should be able to win the uh, the tournament again, which is what we're going to try and do today. I might not be playing all of the games, um, but we'll definitely get back into the tournament because I do want to win that cup, that pack. Sorry. Now Griezmann, there uh, we're going to keep on the bench for a super sub. His price right now, I think, is around seven and a half thousand coins. It looks like somebody's trying to price fix him at ninety one hundred coins. But there you go. Look, look at that. There's one there for with a six point six k open bid with no bid on it. And I went for 7,900 thinking I was getting in early, um, which makes me feel like I probably want to shift all of these players that I've got here, the, the Lucases and the Manolas and uh, uh, the Oriers, as quick as possible because the same thing's going to happen. Uh, I've already lost money on, on Aurea, so I might just cut my losses with these, sell them and be happy with trading, with gaining coins through buying and selling the... Um, the the team of the season players that we're using i'm not going to improve my team for right now the team i feel like is good enough you know the midfield is solid um Rakitic, modric and and hammers are a fantastic trio with a great defense and a good offense and it'd be interesting to try out this ruben castro and see how good he is and if he's not very good it's not a problem because we have got griezmann on the bench that we can just bring on no problem and what i'll probably do over the next couple of days I know it's only uh, Saturday as recording this and Sunday as you're watching this. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. Saturday as recording this, Sunday as you're watching this. Um, so I know it's still early, but I might start putting together my Syria and League One teams now. But at the same time, I might not. And the reason why I might not is because if as predicted for what happened for La Liga, um, so many people have bought so many of them and, and like kind of pre-prepared. When the tournament first drops, Everyone's gonna, uh, everyone's gonna like spam list them. Their price is gonna plummet. And like right now, if I didn't buy Griezmann early to make my money, um, wow, this guy's already won the tournament as well. Yeah, if I didn't buy Griezmann early to make my money, um, I would have actually gone for cheaper now than early. So uh, I I've got a feeling that I might just try and shift my trade pile, clean the coins up, get everything back that I can, be happy with the profit I've made, um, take the losses that I've got. And uh, just kind of go from there and see where we're at, see where we're sitting and, and maybe wait until the uh, the tournaments are released to build the two teams. Now, this guy, a bit, bit cheeky on the old techers. I didn't even really look at his team other than Ruben Castro. And this game is super laggy. There's been a problem with FIFA. The last, like, since the La Liga t team of the season came out, the uh, it has been so laggy. This guy is uh, very, um, very good on the ball, for sure. Oh, come on, Pepe. You better win that header. Who's that against? James Rodriguez has just out-headed Pepe. Is that going to reach? Oh, can't quite get the ball over. That's great defending from DeMarcos, though. He's got a man inside. He's got Ruben Castro on his debut. He scores it. That's a fantastic finish. I didn't think that was going to go in. I thought he put too much on it. But the curve took it around the keeper. And what a great goal. Lovely little pass in from DeMarcos. Look at that, a solid pass in, gets one touch, a beautiful through ball. Here's Ruben Castro, he finesses it past the keeper, and it's 1-0. Oh, I got lucky there. Oh, I got super lucky there. Ruben Castro, he's clean through. He's got some space and some pace, and he's got a far post. Hesse, what a tackle off the line. Unbelievable defending. If that guy wasn't there, that was 2-0 for sure. What a beautiful defensive clearance off the line. Why does my defender always bite when I don't bite? And that, guys, is half-time. So we find ourselves 1-0 up at half-time from a Ruben Castro goal. I know it looks like this guy has dominated, right? He's had more possession, his passing's been good, and he's had five shots on target. But his shots haven't been from great positions. And 
his passing has been because he, he he holds it a lot in the defensive third. Like he doesn't really do much with it in the offensive third. With that being said, um, it's going to be a tough second half for sure. Uh, you know, th this guy obviously is, is good enough. He, he's controlling possession, which by any stretch of the imagination is decent to do. You, you know, you don't get to control by possession by being bad at FIFA. Um, but I do think that I have got the uh, I've got the edge in the game. I just need to uh, I just need to make use of it. I guess. And I can't do that by doing stupid things like that. Yeah, I don't mind you going out right there. The Marcos just too much for uh, for Neymar. Let's go Veya. Who's he got? Varane against Veya. It's him with a cheeky stop and turn. Pass inside. Back into Veya. Carlos Veya. That's a lovely goal. When you when you move your defender out to block the cutback. That's me. I'm near post. Dude, that's that's my home. That's where I'm at. That's where I live. I live at that near post. Look at that. Lovely work down the right-hand side. Gets into Vea. He backs off waiting for the cutback. I live in that post, man. 2-0. Tough game. Big goal. Oh, God. I've gifted it. He's had a shot. What a goal. What a great goal that was. I pulled the keeper a little bit because I was expecting the through ball. And he saw it. Look, watch me pull the keeper. He doesn't show the replay, but he, he saw the uh, he saw the keeper come off his line. He hit the shot. A fantastic shot at that. And uh, a, a thoroughly deserved goal, probably. Speaking of long shots. Oh, my God. What a goal. I did not expect that to go in. Ruben Castro with a phenomenal strike. The keeper just has to do that. He just has to stick his arms up and he'll save that. But he dives for it. Ruben Castro bangs it. Keeper dives. Oh, that's pinpoint accuracy from Ruben Castro. And we get our two-goal lead back instantly. And that is that's big for me because I, I was you know I was worried that the momentum was going to shift and uh, that we'd struggle a little bit. But getting that getting that third goal there and going three-one up here, that is big for me. Oh, that's lovely defending. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Kalo Navas giant throw, bang through the middle. Get ahead on that. That's lovely from uh, Ruben Castro again. And uh, here he goes again. He thinks I'm going to cut it back, but I'm going to drill it. Hat-trick hero on his debut. I saw what he saw. He saw me going out to Carlos Vea. No, it was the obvious thing to do. Look at that. He's like, yo, let me go mark that Carlos Vea run. And I'm like, yo, let me just bang this in the back of the net for a hat-trick on his debut. And he's going to quit. And I tell you what, I am absolutely delighted to make a player of his calibre rage quit the game. Ruben Castro with three phenomenal goals and he did not deserve to lose that badly. You can see by the match stats, he had six shots, six on target, one goal to my five shots, four on target, four goals. And it all came from three phenomenal Ruben Castro finishes. And we're going to show them. Here is his first one. We get through with uh, DeMarcos. Lovely ball into Hesse. Beautiful pass in. Finesses to the far post. And I honestly didn't think that was going in. The amount of times I've hit finesses like that and they've curved wide of the post, I thought it was going wide of the post. My delight when it flew into the back of the net. Fantastic stuff. We then got a lot of saves, a couple of saves from Kaylor Navas there, a miss from Ruben Castro. Um, we then get the Enzo Perez goal after the Vega goal. But then this Ruben Castro goal, I, I hit this genuinely just to hit like I didn't think it would go in it flew into the back of the net a banging shot the keeper should have that but it's just going too fast and too quick for the goalkeeper the goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance dives underneath the ball banging shot can't save it and then just shortly afterwards uh, the actual the uh the last goal's not there because he rage quit too quick but we get ourselves a 4-1 rage quit win and we're going to go straight into the next round guys into round two. I should be good for fitness for this round. And then what I'll do is I'll add, I'll play an offline game and get the uh, the fitness back for the team. We've got loads of contracts still. So we'll throw a uh, we'll throw one of these bronze ones on DeMarcos just to give him three bonus games. I like to keep the contracts low. Just, uh, you know, there's no need to no need to keep them high. So the team's all right for fitness. James Rodriguez is a little low. I'll tell you what, we'll start Parejo for this game. Um, and we'll keep James Rodriguez off. And this is the team that we're going to take. And look, a debut hat-trick for Gonz not Gonzalo, for Ruben Castro. And not only a debut hat-trick, a phenomenal hat-trick from the man. 
and uh, very happy with how he's played. Let's get into game number two and see where we go. Okay guys, so our second opponent for today's video, he's called his team name Poor Man's Road to Glory. So I assume he's a Nick 28T fan. And other than having Gareth Bale, Luka Modric and Infong Krajkoviak, his team has remnants of a poor man's road to glory. You know, I could afford this team, no problem. Um, but it'd be interesting to see how well he does with a team like this. It's a formation I hate coming up against. I, I find the 4-3-1-2 uh, the to be a very difficult formation because, because I bite so much when I defend. Um, and they have the, uh, the the extra cam like that plays potentially as a third striker. It for me just sometimes causes me to get beasted on in uh, you know in the midfield area. But I'm hoping we can uh, we can get ourselves a good start to the game. Get ourselves on the score sheet early. Let's whack that to the far post. See if we've got anyone that can get ahead on it. Ooh, good defending there. That was so close for us. And uh, early signs of this game, which obviously don't really mean anything because, you know, signs of the last game would have indicated that that guy would have beat me, but I end up getting in, getting him a rage quit. Early signs of this game are that this guy is relatively predictable up front and quite predictable in defence and should be easy to beat. But it's not always the way it goes. And he's doing a road to glory, so credit to him for that. I wonder what his uh, fitness levels are like on his players, actually. If we can uh, maybe abuse one, two or three of his, uh, his areas with players. That's a lovely drag back. And there's me biting, and that's exactly what I said. That's going to be a goal. That's really bad goalkeeping from Kalor Navas. I should have, I should have defended that better. And a bit again. I press the tackle button when I'm nowhere near him. Look at this. He drags back. There I am. Boom with Sergio Ramos. I press tackle. I should just jockey there. If I just jockey, he doesn't get that opportunity. He watches the replay though. Shitty save. Shitty shot. Shitty save. But he managed to hit the back of the net, and we could find ourselves in a bit of trouble. Oh, it's beautiful defending. How's that not just simply gone into Rakitic there, who I wanted it to go to in the first place? Ah, oh, that's a good tackle. Let's go there. We've got loads of space here. Oh my god, the luck, the jam, the cheese, the goal. I don't deserve to score like that. I feel like I do deserve a goal. I feel like I've been playing good enough to get a goal. But that was so lucky, man. Like, if my goal was unlucky to concede, look at this. Get into the box. Lovely bit of skill. Tried to shot into Castro, it falls back to Vea, he shoots, he scores, and I've been complaining about Vea, but hey, he put the ball in the back of the net, so you can't complain too much, can you? I, f I, can, f I, can, feel the, uh, I can feel the tides turning here, boys. I can feel the tides turning. Luka Modric into the space. Into Castro, surely from here. He doesn't miss those. That's a fantastic goal. Shielding, so important in that goal. If you saw two times in the box there, I shielded him. Just walks around me. It allows me the space. Look at this. We get there. Boom. Shield him. Get into the space. That was the second time we used it. Castro hits the ball. Scores the goal. That's a lovely finish. And it's 2-1. We've got Atsu against Demarcos. You know who wins that one. Demarcos wins that one. He's going to go back there. We've got Castro across the floor. There it is. It's into him. Oh, Difficult shot that at the front post there. Not many shots. Like, probably Ronaldo would have still missed that one. But lovely counter-attacking football. He gets in the space. Gets his foot on the ball. We just can't put it in the back of the net. I'll take that, though. Easy, uh, easy stuff for me there. Right, I think I've started to suss my opponent out here. There's no way he's keeping up with me here, either. Yo, are you joking? Yeah, exactly. No way he's keeping up with me here. That should be three. That's three. That's game over, guys. Ruben Castro scores again. So lucky to get the ball with DeMarcos there because he tackled me and it just fell straight back to me. But um, I've been putting a lot of pressure on him now since I got that first goal back. That's a beautiful front post pin finish. It's 3-1 and Ruben Castro again dominating. Lovely stuff, DeMarcos. That, guys, is half time. And let me tell you something, guys. I said, I think I said in a previous video and I think I've said before, I looked at Ruben Castro's in-game stats and I was far less than impressed. Like, I looked at him and I just thought, you know what? This guy's not going to be worth his soul. He scored five games for me in one and a half games. And the first one of those games was a rage quit. And now the second one of those games, only at half time, we have got lots of opportunity to be able to get, uh, get him his hat-trick. Not that I'm trying to feed it to him necessarily. It just happens to be the way it's falling. Like the chances are just falling to the striker, which is exactly what I love in FIFA. And that's the reason why I love players like Adariz and like Jonas, because they're just strikers. You know, you don't get anything fancy with them. You don't get any like skills or tricks or abilities. All you get is a clinical out and out striker who's going to do a great job for you. Get up there. There we go. 
and uh, he could be through here again. Castro does have the ability and the pace to like get you your uh, your through ball goals. What is Navas doing? What is Navas doing? Why do I still have Navas in goal? Why do I I have him in goal for the giant throw, but he costs me so many goals. He he's standing at Bale's feet when Bale shoots instead of diving with his hands to the ball. What is that? That's stupid. And now the pressure gets put on us again to have to come into this uh, this second half and score more goals or at least, you know, hold on to this uh, this this result that we're hopefully going to be picking up. Oh my god! I was just about to say, and that is what shielding gets you. Did you see the way I destroyed his defenders? Held them off? Hesse gets into an incredible shooting opportunity and fluffs it. Lost the ball. That's also a bad ball. Hey, I didn't even press a button, EA. What are you talking about? I should be. I was going to say that should be mine, but... Oh my god, Pepe's just run through it. He's got a chance. He's going to score this. Oh, my God. My team. What are they doing? Did you see Pepe run through the ball? What is my team doing? How has this guy pulled it back? Gareth Bale hat-trick. But how has this guy honestly pulled it back? I don't understand. Let's go there. Yeah, you got uh, Castro there. Boom. Castro turns him. Oh, we got loads of space here. Loads of space, loads of pace. He's giving me the near post. Castro, hat-trick hero, get in. That is a big goal. I could have cut it across, but just like in the last game, he backed off to cover the run of Griezmann. So I took that near post. Gonzalo Castro, sorry, Ruben Castro on his three-star weak foot, pops it in the back of the net for his second consecutive hat-trick. And now, guys, if I lose from here, I do not deserve to win this game. we got Castro. Uh, I don't know why he tried to chip that. I didn't press the chip shot button. That should be full time though. That is full time. What an interesting, frustrating game, guys. We took the, we, we went behind. We took the lead. We were comfortable, confident. And then out of nowhere, my team just collapsed. But Castro wins us the game with his hat trick. That's six goals for him in two games. As you can see, we deserve the victory this time around. Four shots, four on target from my opponent, and he only got three goals. Um, or he got three goals, rather. Eight shots, five on target from me. I want to go and take a look at the match highlights again, because uh, Ruben Castro's goals were decent. Look at that shielding from uh, Modric. Puts it into there, into Castro. Boom. Right foot shot, top bins, no saving that. 42 minutes, Ruben Castro missed. That was a near post miss. But then just a few minutes later, DeMarcos gets so lucky to get the ball back there. He's got Castro in the space. He finds him, he shoots, he scores. And that goes to uh, another goal to him. This Hesse miss almost cost me the game. Look at that. Shield him, shield him, shield him. Get the space, take the shot. How has he missed that? Shocking stuff. And then in the 78th minute, Ruben Castro cuts down the right-hand side. Look at this guy's defender. He backs off to cut, cover Griezmann, smashes it near post. We find ourselves 4-3 to the good. And that, guys, is a phenomenal victory. We get the 4-3 win. We're into the semi-final. I now need to go and get fitness on my team. So for now, this is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy this, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.